Though, just like let your chest hair be. Well, the drag. No, yeah. I mean, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, it's that's a lot. That's ha- that's happening. That's very happening. A lot and all over. It is kind of all over. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good though. God bless. Mazel tov. <laughs> all the way around. Hello, everybody. I'm Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is So I'm Watching RuPaul's Drag Race, Woo! where the where it's all made up and the points don't matter. <laughs> kind of kind of true. Kind of true. Uh, we've said several times that we're relatively new to Drag Race. Mm-hmm. Uh, so This is our third season. I feel mm-hmm. like we, uh, we have enough I've seen five. knowledge. Yeah. I went back and watched. I meant to, oh, I did t- kind of tell you, but I watched season seven. That's because Katya and Trixie, Trixie and Katya yeah. are on that mm-hmm. season. Um, although I saw people complaining about it. I've never seen anyone actually, I think it's like seasons of Saturday Night Live, mm. where it's like, no matter what it is, they Everybody always say Everybody hates the current yeah, season? Okay. okay. Like, it was better before, and okay. now it's bad. Okay. I definitely think it's one of those types of things. But I've mostly just kind of enjoyed all of it. But, um, yeah, I mean, th- this season is weird, uh, even with our limited perspective. Yeah. We're eight episodes in, and Are we, we really still have episodes? nine queens. <laughs> I need to. I need. We're eight somebody. episodes in into a fifty-seven season episode run. I need somebody to tell me how long I'm going to be watching RuPaul's Drag Race on Fridays because I love it so much, but I am tired. <laughs> I am very well, tired. and then and then the other fans, like the the more like who have been here the whole time, they then go right into like All Stars, and then they go into like Canada or like UK, and people were like, "Mama, Ru, I'm tired. I'm so tired." <laughs> Like, what is our thanks for coming pod? Mm -hmm. Our friends on Twitter are like, just they're watching two seasons concurrently Mm -hmm. right now because UK Drag Race is happening. I don't know how you're doing it. Congratulations. (laughs) I I can't, I can't keep up. Yeah, I think it's fine. Um, So I I felt like we, some things happened this week. A little bit. Uh, Rose and Denali finally had their moment. Yeah. Uh, They finally got critiques. Yeah. (laughs) And Rosé won. Even though she was, was wearing great. orange. Okay. Well, that is just so interesting. I'm going to go get another cocktail. <laughs> it was it was goldenrod. It yeah. was like... <laughs> a sh- well, this is like bronze. Uh, yeah. She was wearing a shade of yellow. It was just oranger than the mm-hmm. rest of them. Well, everyone else was so fluorescent. So yellow. Like yellow, yellow. Uh-huh. Yellow. But, uh, yeah. Uh, appa- and apparently, I, I somewhere thought that they, like, knew each other. Like, I thought that they, like, came into the competition together. But I think they just clicked. I think they just clicked too, because I, I thought they knew each other too, because they were so tight so fast. I think is what it was. No, I remember in one of our earlier episodes, one of them might have gone home, and there was like this weird thing where they were like, "I need you here with me," and I was like, "Oh, yeah." I and the that. conversation picked up a little bit more here. It was there was some subtext that was rapidly becoming text. Okay. And Katie's still going, Candy still going yeah. for Joey, and. Uh, whatever fair, fair keeps enough. Joey J in our hearts, in our yeah. memories and minds fair and enough. hearts. Fair enough. Uh, and then, I guess, Utica and Olivia Lux? Are they vibing? Yeah, they said that Utica was taking Olivia on a date. Oh, all right. Uh, it was an untucked. I must have missed they were, that. Yeah, they were talking about it in a duct, but I couldn't. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you and you, kid. Um, Utica feels like a lot. To, like, hang out with as there a was, person. There's a, <laughs> it's like a meme that I see. It's like a reaction video. And it's like two women and one of them, one of them's talking on the street and the other one just keeps going, I know, I know, it's okay. I know. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> and it was like Utica explaining that she's homeschooled. Oh, and it's, no! <laughs> and it's like, we know, we know, we know. <laughs> I feel like I did know that and I forgot. That well, is we- <laughs> so true. So true. But um, I just like her makeup. I like her sensibilities. Utica? Yes. Yeah, me too. I really liked the medieval thing. Mm-hmm. It wasn't completely put together. There was like a slight patchworky quilt quality that I would have preferred more tapestrial. Sure. I do think <laughs> it was relatively period accurate. Well, sure. But, the cutout yeah. and, and the wig. The, yeah. the wig and the, the all that. But just the makeup. Every Everything that she does with her makeup is so completely yes i'm yeah, like yes that's what i would do also ruse makeup because we weren't like that i wasn't wowed with her outfit but that eyeshadow the that, like, hair and the makeup peacock eyeshadow it was very 95 oh my God. yeah like, no i loved it i loved it a lot um so uh they had the rusical and i've gleaned from chatter that 
well, again, SNL comparison, they're always like, this one's terrible. It peaked at blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's the kind of thing that can it ever really be good? Can I kind of like an it. unauthorized rusical ever. I, I, I mean, I think it's. <laughs> Here's the thing for me with the rusicals. I am very much like a person sitting on my couch watching the figure skaters at the Olympics where I'm like, that was great. I loved it. And then they're like, Simone, garbage. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I do not compute. It did. OK, so it did feel like the judges were grasping the for little, things to yeah. critique this week. Because, well, sure. OK, here's the thing. This is like actually a really good group of queens, regardless of how we feel about them personally. And well, the, we mostly like them. we mostly like them. I'm I'm wearing thin on Tina Burner, but that's my thing is like it's such a good group of queens. So it's sort of like, let me pick three names out of a hat that did bad. And I'm like, I guess. Yeah, it, it none of it was was send home worthy. No. And yeah, I've maybe I maybe it's Stockholm syndrome I've just kind of come around on candy we got a glimpse this into, was the most I've liked her so far we got a glimpse of the candy I didn't like twice this episode the first was when she was talking about I, th- I guess there was like drama in season nine that I'm unaware of mm. uh, but she got pulled into it and she literally explained that like she was like I don't know if you know what it's like to have like the whole internet like coming after you but her MO is to double down. Yeah. And that's just, it's so rarely, unless you're Rihanna, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't work. work. <laughs> no, like, Rihanna or Chrissy Teigen. Yeah, like, it just like, doesn't, it doesn't work. And I also, there's a thing for me with Candy Muse where it's like, whenever she's performing, she's always doing the same thing with her face. Like well, she's putting her face in yeah. the same and that's I just a think little bit I think she's frustrating. I like her performing because I actually thought she was funny in the musical. Yeah, I thought it was And like, I liked the garbage. <laughs> I'm just like, I guess. I don't know what I'm looking at then. <laughs> well, I liked the uh the lip sync. I love when they when I love when they're lip syncing uh on good terms. Yeah. And even when they synchronize sometimes. Yeah. It's happened, they both like, went yeah, down they both at went the down at the same time. Yeah. And mm-hmm. there's times where they like connect and it's almost like a jam session. A little bit, yeah. And I really love that. Uh and I obviously know that Candy's was Beyonce because she said it and mm-hmm. it's big and yellow and flowy, but it was giving me Katy Perry. It was giving Ooh. me the never really over sure. oh, God, Katy Perry song. with the wigs and the daisies. Yeah. And and I think that that might have been uh not quite as a lofty goal. Mm. Well, she she handled it. She handled it. <laughs> not quite as lofty as this is my Roberto Cavallo Roberto dress. Roberto that dress is in like isn't it in the Met now? Like <laughs> it's either in the Met or the Smithsonian. Yeah, but, yeah, I was like <laughs> uh so yeah, and it was the same with Tina where it was like I guess at one point she stopped lip syncing. And it was unforgivable. Yeah, I didn't really notice that either, so I don't... I mean, it, it just was. Like, I, it, uh, of the people, if people had to be in the bottom, I suppose those are the three I would pick based solely on that performance. But the problem is, especially someone like Simone, it's like, we're not sending Simone home. No, yeah. Not for that. No. She would have to fuck up uh, in order <laughs> to, like... <laughs> fuck it up. Uh, and I'm so, so happy that uh, Denali pulled it through yeah, and that it worked out. Got Mick is really, really good at mm-hmm. the um, the Commedia Del Art, yeah. Moomin Shans. Like, she, she just has this face. Well, and it's like she can really good at makeup. She can just do such grotesquerie. Yeah. Like, get her on a touring production of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Ooh. Like, yeah. In, in Columbia, the... Frankenfurt, any. Yeah, Columbia is the one yeah. I was thinking of, but. She... Like, she could do for you. Yeah, daughter. any of them. Uh, but no, I really, really love, and, and it, it's it's kind of this. It's similar every time, but it doesn't feel one trick. No, it does not feel one trick, especially especially after she pulled it out with the Russian thing tonight, and we knew she was struggling with the choreography. So it was like really, really good to see her and Denali like totally on the same wavelength in that. And number. they weren't. It wasn't like twins. Tw- I mean, they were twins, yeah. but it was like they were each kind of doing their own thing that yeah. felt coherent. Well, because even nice. Denali had kind of like a like a forties like a World War Two pinup thing going uh-huh. with the hair and everything. It was really, and then Got Mick had kind of like a um, tattoo. <laughs> You know, the like <laughs> the Russian duo thing going. It was oh, very. Oh, oh yeah. I, I went to Deplay. No, 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 no,
<laughs> like the Russian band, like the Russian lady band. Sure. Um, yeah. I was listening to that song today coming over. What All is the it? things she said. All the things she said, yeah. Because Poppy does a cover of it, yeah. and it's just nice to listen to an actual queer person sing that song. Mm. Because Tattoo are Sisters, terrible. Sisters, right? No, they're terrible. Oh, they're terrible. They're like homophobic. And <gasps> like it was all propaganda. No. Like, oh yeah, they're awful. So I, I'm just going to listen to the poppy version. That's now. fine. Let's do that. <laughs> it's we'll better. Just, we'll just pretend that, they're the, that she's the one that did it. <laughs> Tina Burner. Uh... <sighs> I liked the taxi cab thing, but then Ellie with two T's came out and I was like, I like this taxi cab thing better. <laughs> it just, it feels... It's the same as last week with the Mardi Gras, where I was like, oh, I like Tina Burner's Mardi Gras. And then I was like, but I like Elliot's well, Mardi Gras okay. way better. Tina's Mardi Gras last week was... Well, the was, tits were funny and hideous. stuff, but it was... Gross. You're, you're right. I don't know. It's just kind of what Tina's doing. It's just not... I, I prefer more whimsical glamour stuff. Sure. And she's it's doing very, real um, body, real... Like, <laughs> you know what it is? It's, it's very Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> I don't know. It feels, and it feels real old school. It just, yeah. I, it, and again, that's not, that's that, like, she's good at it and she's very famous for what she does. Uh, yeah, it's it's not that it's necessarily bad, but it's not what I'm looking I for. I just don't understand how you're that established. And yeah. you are, you every, are, sorry, you are established enough to have had a serious relationship with Graham Norton. He apparently called it a disaster. I know. Oh. I read the article too. Hilarious in the first place. Second of all, how dare you with Graham Norton? <laughs> How very dare you? <laughs> we actually really love Graham Norton. Love Graham Norton. We watch Graham it all Norton. the time. <laughs> love Graham Norton. I, the, why more? Well, uh, James Corden does it, but I wish American talk shows put Multiple all the people, people out yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Because that's the fun, is like watching them interact with each other. Yeah. Totally off topic, but do yourself a favor and watch um, Phoebe Waller Bridge talk about what she did on the last night of her play. On uh, Graham Norton. Oh, I was like... <laughs> it's just really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Letts is doing well. Uh, <laughs> I like this, like, narrative that they have, that she's, like, a secret bitch. Yeah. Uh, I think it's fine. I don't think that she's nasty. I think no, that no, it's no, mostly no. in good fun. Yeah. Um, it doesn't come across as, like, an mm -hmm. attitude or anything. It comes across as just a, like... I know what I'm doing mm -hmm. kind of vibe. But she's the thing is, she's not being mean to anybody. And that's, I think, what's important. But she also has just a slight pot stir quality. She's just, definitely I a pot stir. Yeah, I think definitely it's kinda, a pot stir. I think it's kind of funny. Uh, and then we, I wanted to say Rose's mask. That was really, was really, really funny, really interesting. Yeah, I liked that a lot. Uh, I also Plus, liked, the, just like the bone structure already fits it. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, it's like very good. She already kind of has like, like that wooden fa mask yeah, face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, Denali's albino Medusa. But, yeah. well, it was, like, apparently she was supposed to be Banana, the snake, yeah, from, from uh, <laughs> Slave for You. Slave for You. Uh, and then I didn't make... know that that snake's name was Banana. Oh, yeah. And now I'm obsessed. It died. <laughs> um, R.I.P. Banana. I like anacondas because they don't bite. Mm. My friend Ashley had an anaconda. Because oh. I had that picture of Adam holding it. Yeah. And it's super sexy. That's right. Um, That's right. No, I think it's it was not, an anaconda. It's, not, it's a boa constrictor. There you go. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> in I was Waldorf, like, Maryland. I was like, I know what you think you're saying, but I was like, and I know that you're not right, but I couldn't figure out how to correct you. Yeah, and then well, got milk, got got milk again. I was going to say yeah. got milk. Well, well, that's how they're pronouncing it is got mick. Yeah, and they're like emphasizing both. Well, uh, <laughs> Trixie keeps calling her got meek. I mean, we don't know why, but. Uh, the crash test dummy again. It was, it was a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm, I already said it, yeah. sh a lot of the stuff she does is similar. It's not quite one note. I wouldn't hate. Although to see it was her. like a high. Pony yeah, thing I wouldn't again. hate to see her. I, I I wish that they would switch them up. I wish they would make them do. Like each other. Yeah. Uh, like, here is what I wish is that it was actually sort of like a beauty pageant where they all had to do a glam mm -hmm. thing like in like way early like you have to do like a like a runway gown mm -hmm. like i wish that there was something like that because i i agree with you i would like to see gotmic in something really really refined mm -hmm. because while this was better than anal beads it was still it did was like a high pony look mm -hmm. yeah but it was cool the crash test dummy thing was like a good spin on the yellow which i agree with whoever tweeted that 
colors. <laughs> Yellow is not my color, girl. <laughs> They were like, I want to give RuPaul a shout out for picking yellow and ensuring I'm going to hate every look. Every single one. <laughs> uh, although Simone, once again, yeah. I liked the wig and it was it was unique. Yeah. I wouldn't have been like, I bet you someone's going to come out in like high waisted shorts and suspenders mm-hmm. and like a fur coat yeah. and like a awesome yellow wig. I like that Simone also doesn't often wear breasts. Ever. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, it's a lot of them this season don't. Yeah, because Rose was painting hers on yeah. and everything. I'm not anti the fake no. breasts. I just think it's like cool and yeah. like a neat thing that there's like not a lot of them putting on like prosthetic mm-hmm. breasts this season. So uh, I'm trying to think. I, I I didn't have much more to say about the the Rusical. It was fine. Uh, d- d- m- glaring MySpace erasure. Yeah, like, that I, was I was unforgivable. Especially because they brought in Friendster, and I just was like, nobody was on Friendster. We were. I was even on MySpace. Yeah, come on. I mean, I knew Friendster. Yeah, because everybody was like, oh, MySpace is better than Friendster. <laughs> <laughs> but I miss MySpace. I would go back to MySpace so quickly, yeah. everybody's head would spin. Mm. There would just be a will shaped cloud in this room. But um. Yeah, so uh, so who knows how many more episodes we have? Because, because next week is apparently some documentary style thing about how they COVID. got through COVID. Yeah. And I'm just like. <laughs> I mean, it sounds interesting, but it does. what was that pickup shot in Untucked? Mm-mm. I am convinced. Mm-mm. Do you agree with me? It was weird and bad. Yeah, that was not with real. Just, like just Candy and Simone after the full ruling. It, yeah, explaining what, explaining that this was a competition and what just happened. No, not my fave. I feel like there's, I feel like there's, maybe because of the COVID of it all, I feel like this season is overproduced. Like, I feel like the, mm. they're, like, even, I've even heard people say that that candy shit, that they did that. So we got a couple of comments on the YouTube video that basically uh-huh. were like, this is this season's really weird because of everything that's going on, and so it's like extra different than the other seasons, and so like this is what's going on. Like they I'm might have like, agreed to do that, or yeah. like leaned all the way in yeah. to it just to create. Yeah, I don't know. That's some good acting. It seems serious. <laughs> yeah, and the, the whatever that scene was at the end of Untucked, it was like no, it, was, it was bad. It was almost like I, I was like, is this even? Did, is this a set? I was like, did they yeah. build this and like they built the outside of this? Like they filmed it so far after the fact. Yeah. So, um, okay, cool. Well, hopefully you enjoy and please like and review and subscribe. Please subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand. That's our first big milestone. Yay. And, uh, it would really help and you don't have to watch or even like it. Just subscribe it. And just and subscribe and then tur- turn later. the notifications off. Yeah. And once we get to a thousand, you can unfollow yeah. us. <laughs> I'm going to. So easy. You think I watched this? <laughs> We do. We both watch this. (laughs) So, okay. Bye. Bye.